Hey guys, welcome to another awesome episode of Brother Not Brother. And in today's episode, we're going to be trying some awesome candy from the 80s. I remember the 80s. Quite lovely. I should actually say rad candy. It says rad right there. Rad candy. Radical dude. Rad candy from the 80s. So we figured out that this candy isn't didn't come out in the 80s. It's what was popular in that what was popular? Is it that, century or what no, is it for? Decade. Decade. Century that is decade. 100 years. Right. Decade is 10. All right. Well, let's just dig into this baby here. I'm already liking this one. It's got so many good things. Let's dig in, buddy. All right. Well, Grant, why don't you go ahead and go first and pick our first 80s rad candy. I'm going with my favorite one. Jigger Popper <gasps> I love Twizzlers. They actually know. give these out at my work like every couple oh, really? of weeks. They give us like four or five of them. Yeah. And they're gone. <laughs> like within like maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I really, I actually kind of like the individually wrapped ones just really? because they stay more, forgive me, but moist. No. Well, like, I mean, they don't dry out as much. It's good to hand out for Halloween. Uh -huh. However, I mean, it has its benefits. Uh -huh. But at the same time, it's bad because you only get one. Yeah, so you just grab a handful of them. True, but then you have to, it just takes time to open them. I know. But this so one if you get the pack of one, it's nice. kind of bad because then you eat like 10 of them and then as soon as you know, it's like... This one is like from the 80s. Ooh, <laughs> that was from the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one was made... Oh, delicious. Mm -hmm. But that was made in the 80s. I love strawberry. What's your favorite flavor of Twizzlers? I like black licorice. Oh no, sorry, excuse me. Black? Excuse me, chocolate. Oh, much better. But my second favorite is black licorice. I love black licorice. Not many people like black licorice. Um, I definitely love chocolate. Um, and a runner-up is like Dr. Pepper, the soda flavors. I love mm. those. So, what's but your, I definitely will go for this first. What's your favorite licorice? Licorice? I love those little nibs. Nibs? Little nibs. The little niblets? Yep. I nibs. like, um, my favorite is um, Red Vine. Red Vine. Mm. Perfect movie theater licorice. Yes. All right, next one. Next Selby, one. Selby, which one do we want to do next? Vale. Mm. Haribo gummy bears. bears. Who doesn't like them, right? How do you say it, Haribo? Haribo, yeah. So I'm gonna do Ooh, wow, these my are... favorite are the white ones. The white ones? I don't see any white ones. I see a yellow one. That'll work. Oh, you got a white one? Don't worry about it. it. These were from the 80s, too. These are all kind of stale. I'm a little disappointed. Oh, yeah, they're not very fresh. But, let's see. Haribo. Yeah, it's spelled Haribo. I but, said Harbero or something like that. So, my wife, her mom, always buys gummy bears online. Mm -hmm. It comes like... Like a 15 pound bag, <laughs> it feels like, mm -hmm. and they're just to die for. Oh man. Okay, next one, I'm gonna go with my other favorite. Mm -hmm. Runner up number two, Swedish Fish. Oh yeah. Love these babies. Swedish Shit. Fish. Yes. Ooh, that was a good opening. That was a very elegant opening. Look at that, get me a fishy. Again, stale. Mmm. <sighs> I wonder if it's just because it's cooling off, and so because it's cold, mm -hmm. they're a little firmer. See, with Swedish fish, for me, they're like potato chips. Mm -hmm. I have to have like, you know, a pound of it to feel <laughs> satisfied. Honestly, I bought those like big one pound bag or whatever. I usually can get like two handfuls worth, and then I'm like, okay, it's starting to taste like rubber or something or plastic. And then you stop. And I need to like, stop for a while. A couple hours later, mm -hmm. it sounds good again. All right, Cub. <laughs> what is your favorite? And your these? next one that we want to do. Pixie sticks. Oh man, I remember when I was younger and not so smart. I would snort these. Just saying. <clears throat> Wasn't your uh, brightest moments? Mmm. Woo. Mm. Good flavor. Oh, those are good. Mm-hmm. I haven't had one of these in forever. You're getting the ones... They're more sour than I thought. Yeah, I'm getting the ones that are like the... The, the giant the straws. straws. Yep. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. All right. Um, Let's go for... I'm going to go for whatever this is. Oh, gosh. 
Sour power. Mm, no idea what we're sour working power. here. Sour power. Sour. Sour. Now, if you guys know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of sour. No. Unless I have the magic berry. Yeah, that magic berry, dude. So good. Yeah. If you haven't watched that video, uh, link in the description or uh, in the info card up here. This is like ribbon. Oh. <laughs> That works too. Mm. It, almost, it almost looks like fruit leather. That is so delicious. Is it sour? Mm hmm Like, initially. But that is good. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. But once oh, you get the sour off, Oh my gosh, I love these. Sour Power. Dude, it, it just sounds like an off-brand name, but they're good. Mm-mm. Mm. Oh, wow. All right. I like that. Next one, Ooh, Kelby. Look. Ooh. Ooh. All right, what do we have next? Pez. Pez. Ooh. What's the coolest Pez dispenser you've ever seen? My favorite one, the one I had was Darth Vader. You had a Darth Vader one? But like, I opened it, and when you open it, it goes... Oh, really? It had sound effects? Yeah. That's cool. Another one good was uh, the Chewbacca. Open. <laughs> What about you? Um, I I really liked. I think my brother once had the. Um, I think it was the Joker or the Riddler. Mm. I really liked. I was always super jealous of that one. See these ones. They're always good. It's a fun little snack, mm -hmm. especially as a kid. Cause you feel like you're huh, discovering something new every time you open it. <gasps> How does it work? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I think it's my turn, right? Okay. Let's go for Jelly Belly Jelly, jelly Beans. Bellies. Mm. I think my dad actually used to be part of like the Jelly Belly Club or whatever they have, mm -hmm. where like they send you a assortment or whatever every month. Really? Yeah. Interesting. This was back when I was a little kid. I got three here. All Looks right. like buttered popcorn. I know that one for sure. But what are these other ones I'm looking at? Does it have a? So... It doesn't have a guide for us. Oh no! I no. well, got a pink one and a white one. Pink lemonade. And I think that one's coconut or something. Probably coconut. I got maybe like a peach or a pear, black licorice, and marshmallow. marshmallow. Oh. Mm. Marshmallow. Butter popcorn. Mm. What's my favorite? Next. I'm going to go with the pink lemonade. Hey, right. Pear. Pear? Yep. You sure it's pear? No. I, I don't think that would be peach because I'm pretty sure the pear is green. Because it's the same color as the booger one for the, uh, Bean what's it called, Bean Boozled. By the way, future episode coming to uh, Brother Not Brother. Bean I don't boozled. know what that is. Not my favorite though. No? Yeah. Alright. That crush. Whatever this white one is. Mmm. Black with fish. I, you nailed every one of mine. That was coconut. <laughs> mm. That is so good. I love Jelly Bellies. Which one do we want to try? We got just a few left here. Red Hot Cinnamon Candy. Mm. This reminds me of uh, the, the Big big Red Bubblegum. Oh? Yeah. I, I never did very well with hot things. No. But I remember in like, this reminds me in elementary, I would trade people for these. Cause like I didn't want these, so I traded anything to get rid of them. But they're not, they're not bad though. No, now that I've grown up and my palate is refined, I actually like them. <laughs> palate is refined. Yeah, I have a refined palate. I now like cinnamon flavored things. I'm super fancy, okay? Me and my this palate, palate is latte are going over here. <laughs> Your palate has been refined by the crucible of mm. flavors. Red hot, so those are good. Pretty good. I like it. Yep. Um, Next, I'm gonna definitely go for the Airhead. This one, I can tell, is cold and hard. I like your hits, but not this flavor. Cherry? Oh, you hate cherry, so huh? It might just it reminds you of cops, cop syrup? Yeah. But I did use the magic berries with my parents, mm -hmm. and I drank NyQuil. Mm -hmm. It did not affect me at all. Mm. I was able to handle it, and it was perfectly fine. Oh, gosh, that smells... Ooh. <laughs> it's not... Terrible. I'm like I think the only airhead I actually like is the white one. Blue one's pretty good though. Blue one, yeah. Blue raspberry. Um, 
All right, I think we should do this one next. Next Gop one we stoppers. have Gobstoppers. Everlasting Gobstoppers. Yes. By Willy Wonka. All right, I, you want to know something? What? I've never had a Gobstopper before. Really? You've yeah. had a Jawbreaker. I've had a job. is it the same thing? Essentially. But these just last forever? Mm, they're a little bit softer than a Jawbreaker. Wow, a lot softer. <laughs> they're also a cold and brittle. Mmm, these are nice. Ooh. Ooh, that is good. I like that. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Gobstoppers, ladies and gentlemen. They're not as hard as I remember them as a kid. They're not everlasting. No. It says everlasting gobstopper. I think if you suck Jawbreakers that change colors and flavors. So, like, as you suck it down, it changes the color and flavor. Wow. Willy Wonka but, is a genius. Um, unfortunately, this one was a little soft, and we just crushed it. Yeah. With our manly jaws. Manly jaws. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our last two here are oh, Blow serious. Pop and... Bu double bubble gum. So it's basically the They're same thing. They're both gum. One's got a sucker and one's got gum. Which one do you want? I'll take the both. The double bubble. Double bubble? Double bubble. Double bubble bubble, bubble gum. And it's really cold, so... Yeah. It's a little chilly. <laughs> you know, winter is coming. Winter is coming. coming. I've never seen a single episode of Game of Thrones. Me either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least mine's a sucker. Well, I, it's a little superhero with a cape. Did you ever do this when you were a kid? I remember doing the, um, where you go to the gas station and you, you get the lollipops, or the blow pops. Yeah. And you try to find the star on it oh. and then you get a free one. Yeah. Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Pops, Tootsie Pops. yeah. You always get the free one. Mm -hmm. It was with the Indian, with the bone. The arrow. Indian mm -hmm. bone arrow. Yeah, I could not get that to break. So what flavor is this? There it is, blue raspberry. Oh, yep. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Well, this was pretty good pretty episode. Good. Pretty good episode. I like it. We got a, we. This I think this is our first one where we. I think we really knew, and we st we got away from caramel. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the olden days, they loved caramel. Yeah. I, I don't know why they like it so much. Holy cow. But this one, I th we, we, we enjoyed more of the candy mm -hmm. and the flavors. Mm. Yep, I'm definitely enjoying it right now. Yeah. Okay. You guys, thank you again for watching. Don't yeah. forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, check us out on our other social media right over here. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. See you guys. Bye.